Now, just in case you're interested, I went ahead and I'm going to create a part 2A. This is part 2A. It is me creating the second virtual machine in Azure. Now, if you've already done this, you can go ahead and skip this video. I've already created my first virtual machine. I'm going to come in here and go new. I'm going to choose virtual machines. And then at that point, I'm going to choose Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center. I'm going to use the default resource manager and choose create. And then it's going to walk me through four steps. The first one is to give my second domain controller a name. I'm going to follow the same naming convention. Mine is going to be MIIM Master IT in Minutes SVR DC 0002. I'm going to go ahead and give it a default username for my server. I'm going to give it a nice complex password here. There we go. It's my Azure Pass. And I am going to use an existing resource group that I already created. So I come over here and click on here. Here is my MIIM resource group. I want it to be in the same resource group. So I've got the resource group. I am going to put it in the data center closest to me so I get the highest performance. At this point, I'm going to pick the server size and I'm choosing standard core because this is not a production machine. It's just a test environment. So I'll choose standard core, save myself some money and choose select. Now at this point, I need to choose the storage type. And if you notice, it has a default storage. I want to check to make sure these things are correct. My virtual network, did it put it in the MIIM virtual network that I created in part one? Yes, it is. It's putting it in the same subnet as my second, uh, my first server. Public IP address, I'll come down, I'll enable monitoring. Here's the availability set. I'm going to go and choose this and I should see an existing availability set. There it is, the MIIM availability set. I'm going to put it in that the same as I did the previous server. I'm going to choose OK. I'm going to review all the information to be correct, which it is, and I'll choose OK. So just in case, this was a part 2A video that creates the second machine that will be the secondary domain controller in my Active Directory domain in Azure. Take care.